Hi guys, it's Katie from Yarn Society and today we're going to make this easy popcorn flour that you can make in just minutes. For supplies you'll need a worsted weight yarn. I love the Shine Worsted because it has a really pretty sheen to it, but use whatever you have on hand. An E 3.5mm crochet hook, scissors, yarn needle, and a stitch marker. We're going to start out by making a magic circle and if you don't know how to make a magic circle you can watch my video here. I'm going to start out with my slip knot magic circle so I'm going to begin by leaving a long tail and then wrapping my yarn around two fingers crisscrossing at the top. I'm going to hold my tail with my ring finger, pull the back piece of yarn to the front and pull up to make my slip knot. You can use the tail to adjust your loop. At this point I get set up with my yarn. I place my middle finger in the loop, I tighten it and I hold the tail with my ring finger. Insert your hook in the loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through to make a chain to connect. And now we are going to make five single crochet into the magic circle. This is one, two, three, four, and here is our last one, five. We have five V stitches, three, four, and five. And then that little piece at the end is just that beginning chain that you made. Go ahead and tighten your magic circle. And then I like to place a stitch marker in my last stitch of the round. We are gonna start out by making five popcorn stitches. So to start a popcorn stitch we are going to start by making five double crochet into the same stitch. To make a double crochet we're going to yarn over, we're going to insert our hook under both loops of that first stitch, yarn over again, pull up, you'll have three loops on the hook, you're going to yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over once again and pull through the two remaining loops. Then we're going to make a second double crochet into that same stitch. Yarn over, put your hook into that same stitch, yarn over again, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. Here we're going to do a third double crochet. Now we're going to make number four into the same stitch and then we're going to make our last double crochet into that same stitch. To complete our popcorn stitch we're actually going to take our hook out of our loop, make sure you leave a little bit there so it doesn't unravel, then we count to our first double crochet, one, two, three, four, and five. This was our first double crochet that we made. You're going to insert your hook from front to back underneath both loops and then you're going to grab that yarn, that dropped loop, with your hook and you're going to pull it through the stitch like a slip stitch. And now you're going to chain one. And that is your first popcorn stitch. To move on to our second stitch, we're going to make five double crochet into the next stitch. It feels a little odd because you're pulling to get to that stitch, but we can do this. So let's yarn over and make five double crochet into our second stitch. Double crochet one. double crochet two, double crochet three, here's four, and here is our fifth double crochet. Okay, so once again we're going to drop that loop from your hook. Make sure to leave a little bit extra so you don't lose it. And then we're going to count five backwards. We have one, two, three, four, five. That's our first double crochet. Insert your hook from front to back. Pick up that dropped loop with your hook. And then go ahead and pull right through that stitch. 
and chain one to secure your popcorn. Okay, so basically we're just gonna follow these for the next three stitches. So make five double crochet into your third stitch. Here is our last double crochet. Drop your loop. Count five. Go ahead and pick up a loop. Pull through and chain one to secure your popcorn stitch. Okay, we have two stitches to go. We're going to make five double crochet into that same stitch. This is just a fun and easy, kind of looks like a star, so if you need a star for anything but you're trying to dress up your amigurumi, you can use this. Okay, we're going to insert our hook from back to front in the first double crochet. Grab your loop, pull it through the stitch, and then make one chain. Okay, we've reached our last stitch here. So we're going to make five double crochet. Four and five. Drop your loop count five backwards. We're going to insert our hook from front to back into the first double crochet. Pick up your hook, pull it through, and chain one. Okay, so we reached the end here. What we want to do is go underneath. There's a little loop left from your first stitch. You're going to put your hook underneath that loop, and we're just going to make a slip stitch. We're going to yarn over Pull the yarn through and then pull it through your stitch. You'll want to leave a long tail. Go ahead and grab your scissors and snip a long tail. And we're just going to fasten off by yarning over and pulling the yarn all the way through. You might just need to tighten your magic circle and adjust your popcorn stitches. From here, I like to weave my yarn to the middle of the piece, so thread your yarn into your yarn needle and just move over to the middle of the flower. From here, your flower is all done, she's ready to be attached to your cute amigurumi. And here's what it looks like if you wanted to add a little pearl or an embellishment in the middle of the flower, I think that adds just a really cute touch. Thanks so much guys for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And also please subscribe to my channel where I have new weekly videos. Head over to yarnsociety.com for free crochet patterns.